Okay, welcome back. I'm Jason. Today, I'd like to continue our series of one hub. The virtual machine would be Crypto Bank One. I will put the link into the description section below so that you can download the image. Before we begin today's video, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate your help and support. So now let's get started. To save time, I have already imported the virtual machine image into the virtual box. So now we can go into the Canon Linux. As you can see, I have already all identified the IP address of the virtual machine as two hundred and fifty-four, and I did the the map scanning. I did the scene scan, the virtual scan, script scan, and、uh, Also, the comprehensive scan by specifying the option of dash p dash. From the map scanning results, as you can see over here, there are two open ports. The first one is twenty two, which runs SSH surface, and also the actual or exact version information is displayed over here. Of course, as we know, this version doesn't have any vulnerability. What we can exploit. The second one is eighty, and、uh, also the actual、uh, version information. And、uh, what we are going to do next is is to do some emulation for the eighty port. So now, I'd like to.、Uh, maybe I need to close all existing tabs. Okay, let's refresh. So I think,、uh, yeah, as we、uh, got or retrieved the page of the virtual machine, and、uh, most of the the page is static resource. For example, we can click some、uh, some ship link. But、uh, it will stay in the same page. So also the contact information and、uh, the team, and、uh, we can click the contact or email. So I think we have already got some user name. In case we want such information later, we can. Uh, I need to open new. Okay, maybe I can don't save, don't save, and、uh, make a copy. So the first user name, and、uh, similarly we can get the second user name. I mean the possible user name. For the reconnaissance、uh, stage, we need to get as much as as much information as possible, right? And、uh, this is the third one. And、uh, the final one. Okay, we can. Save this information into our working directory, and we can name it name this file as users、uh, from email, right? And we can save. And also, we can check whether the site has robots file. Yeah, but、uh, oh, sorry. We need to refresh. Not found.、Uh, and、uh, okay. So I think,、uh, and also you can check the source code of the page. But、uh, you will not find anything useful. And、uh, next, we need to use some tools to. To do some further more emulation, like Ligato,
Uh, sorry, I forgot to tell you. To visit this, uh, also we, I, I need to, sorry about that. Uh, I, I, need, I need to remove the existing record. And uh, we, we can go back to our page. And if you can click secure login. And uh, you, you will not uh, make a successful, successful uh, login. And uh, at the bottom from the status, you can know uh, this super link will try to, yeah, as you can see at the bottom, uh, this, sup this super link will make us to link to the crypto bank local. So to make this to work, we need to put this host name into our host file. Okay, now we can do that. And the IP address of the target and the host name is crypto Crypto bank local and write and quit. So now we can log in. Crypto bank. I need to check whether we have ready editing correctory. Crypto local. Yeah. As you can see, uh, uh, the when we click that ship link, the browser will be will be prompt by this login, and we can try like admin admin. You will not uh, get success. And uh, now, I think we have already finished the. The Ligato, oh, sorry, yeah, Ligato, nothing important we can get from Ligato, and we can use the GoBuster. I'd like to autocomplete this command, but I need to change the IP address of the virtual machine. And as you can see, the assets, maybe we can try uh, this directory and some uh, subdirectories like image like fonts but I think uh, uh, these uh, subdirectories cannot give us useful information and also the development yeah very important uh, normally the development side has some like uh, misconfiguration or some vulnerabilities we can utilize development. But we need to put the username and the password, which is um, done by HTTP, basic authentication. And also we can try like uh, author, uh, sorry, admin, admin, and admin. But uh, it will not work. So I'd like to cancel. So I think we have already, I think we cannot give more information besides the, these directories or files. So I think the direct emulation at this point is completed. And what can we do next? If we go back, go back to the chatting platform or user logging platform, Maybe here exists SQL injection vulnerability, and we need to check whether uh, this login uh, window does have the such a vulnerability. And but how to do? We can use the tool of SQL map. And uh, before we do that, we can intercept the request and save this request into file. Okay and the burp suite. 
And uh, now we can launch our pub suite. And the next, oh, I already, yeah, we need to close this one because I have already, oh, sorry. <laughs> I need to l launch again, next stuff. And we can set the proxy intercept option on. And now we can input like admin password. And let's hit login. And now we can get the. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I need, maybe we need to close all. Bob sweet and I make sure yeah the the proxy has been configured I think no problem and now we we can launch our Bob suite again I don't know what's wrong with my Bob suite proxy intercept is on and uh, let's add input admin and password is password. It doesn't matter. Let's log in now. Yeah, this time we got or intercept the request and we can copy to the file. We can limit it req.txt and save. And now we can close our bub suite and uh, turn off the proxy. And then now we can use the SQL map to to identify the yeah because I have the cache the result so it will not uh, uh, do the same uh, testing process but I can tell you now. We have already know uh, the this login portal have the SQL injection vulnerability, and then we can emulate the emulate the database. As you can see, we can know there are available databases like uh, Crypto Bank and uh, also the standard uh, database. Of course, we need to take a close or take more attention to this database. And we can make a copy. And we can specify the database as Crypto Bank. And now we need to know how many tables in this database. Yeah, we got to uh, know. Uh, in this database, Crypto Bank, the three tables. Of course, we just need to know or need to get the information from the accounts table because the credential is always the most important part. And now we can specify the table as accounts. And we need to get the, the column information in this table. Yeah, we got uh, uh, some column name, and we we need to get the password and the user name information, and we can specify the column user name, and the password, and now we can dump all data with these two columns. Yeah, we got the user name and the password, and we can make a copy. And now, of course, you can try logging to our portal, and we can make a copy and log in. But uh, I, I can tell you, um, although we successfully log in, but uh, such 
we cannot get more things from uh, from uh, these uh, functions. So I'd like to lock out, or anyway, we just leave as it is. And uh, now we need to, you know, the development. Uh, just now we identified during the directory immersion is always the more important, and uh, but uh, the development. And uh, you can try this one. Need the username and password. So we need to crack the password and the username. But how to do? We can use the Hydra. And we need to generate our own usernames and uh, password dictionary. I can tell you, I use the the UU word list like uh, Rocky. It you will not uh, succeed in cracking the password. We need to use this existing uh, information or retrieved password and use them to generate our own uh, dictionary. And we can make a copy. And uh, we can paste in here. And uh, we need to separate uh, the username and the password and save separately the username and password into two different files. Okay, when because it will involve some time, so I'd like to interrupt or pause the video. Okay, I have already separate the use of use, use of uh, information. Sorry, excuse me, uh, from the database, and uh, I have already. Yeah, generate our user users dictionary and also the password dictionaries. But uh, you remember, uh, during our initial immersion, we have already got uh, some other user names. So I'd like to append append the uh, the this information into the dictionary, and now we can use the Hydra. Hydra user. And the uh, password as our dictionary. And port number. And the uh, IP address of the virtual machine. And uh, the method is actually get. And the directory is development okay let's hit enter and now the hydra yeah we have really got the usernames and the password and we can log in right we can log in and uh, paste in here Sign in, earning for development. So although we, although we successfully log in, uh, to the development directory, but uh, nothing, uh, useful. Uh, uh, is here. So how to do next? Maybe we need to, emulate the subdirectories or files, under the development, and we can make a copy. And we can use the, dub. And the development, but we need to specify the username and the password because this is the basic authentication. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we have already identified or discovered some. Uh, subdirectories so like backups. For, for example, we can uh, make a copy, and uh, we can go to these directories. Yeah, home. Yeah, this uh, will our browser will be redirected to our home directory. So maybe in this uh, directory, there's some. 
a more for the more subdirectories or files we can make a copy and uh, yeah we have already identified the JIT repository of course the JIT uh, in some case will uh, involve some uh, important files or credentials so we need to use the JIT hack to to uh, to clone the, the 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 repository from the target and now now I'd like to go into our my JIT hat and we can to remove my old uh, and we can now we can use the Python JIT Py yeah. Python JIT hack and we can paste the the whole pass of a JIT directory also the JIT yeah now we have already the clone the the repository from the target and now we can go to the the data directory and we can go to the development go to the tools and go to the command and there is file command php so as you can see uh, this file will do some uh, command exec execution and the command parameter is username but we need to put the password yeah this password maybe we can make a copy yeah I think we need to locate this this file so maybe this should be the development and the tools okay and the development and the tools okay and uh, we can execute the command and uh, use the name field we can uh, input some command like uh, id and the password we have already got that yes yeah, submit so it is successfully execute the command what we uh, provide so i think the next thing is to get the the initial for the hold or the shell and also we can check the netcat the password is this one and the submit yeah so the netcat uh, has installed on the target but I can, I can tell you because if you run like a command to try to get the reversed shell and we can copy the password and uh, before we run the command I need to set up the listener and uh, let's hit submit but uh, you will fail because some the firewall in place so we need to crack uh, we ne I need to come back sorry and uh, we can remove so how to do maybe we can upload some uh, shell script to the target and then run this shell script get uh, and then we can uh, get the the shell or initial for the hold and uh, so I now I'd like to interrupt the listener we can use the msf villain yeah we can use this payload and we can make a copy villain and and uh, the localhost is our kernel linux and the local port is 555 and the file type is raw okay let's hit enter
Yeah, we got the command, and then we can copy, and then we can write uh, this line code into the rev shell shell script, and now we need to upload this shell script. And how to upload? We can use the double get. Oh no. And uh, we need also need to provide the password. Login. Uh, sorry, submit. Yeah, no problem. We can check the uh, whether we have successfully uploaded our file and we can make a copy of our password and submit yeah we have successfully uploaded our generated revshell.sh which is generated by ms vellum okay so now we can run river and also we need to provide the password but before we I think we can interrupt this one and set up the listener again and go back submit yeah we successfully got the shell and we can make this interactive PTY module, PTY spawn. And now we can go to the home directory and we can check some information. Yeah, as you, as you know, the Docker uh, uh, from the if configure, if configure command, we can know uh, the target has container uh, or Docker installed and also the IP address and also we can check the service as you know uh, some container one container runs uh, I think this port number is running at SOAR and uh, so maybe before we of course the, the final objective is to get the root shell and the root flag and now uh, before we do that we need to upgrade our shell to the metapreter and but how to do we can still use the ms of vellum i just autocomplete this command maybe i can escalate Yeah, no problem. And we need to upload uh, this file or payload onto the target. And we can go to the temp directory, use the double get. IP address of the Kali Linux. And the name is we can just uh, copy and paste in here, no problem. And uh, we need to change mode. But before we run this file, we need to set up the handler. Handler. Launch. Metasprite. Okay, use the exploit multi handler and uh, we need to set the payload, the same payload as this one. Must, must be the same. And we can show the option, set the local host to our Kali Linux. Set the local port, also the, this 
local port should be same as the this one when we generate generated the the escalate payload okay 666 and now let's run and now we will start it the handler for us now we can go back to our target shell we can run this file i think we have already got the metaprata session and uh, because the container is in the in the target we need to we need to make a tunnel and allow our kernel Linux to access this uh the 8983 service on this container and we need to set up the route run auto yeah and uh, i think the ip address of the container is yeah 17 17 yeah no problem and now we need to uh, configure port forward port forward and add local port we can set the local port is 81 and the remote port is i need to confirm that the port is yeah 8983 and uh, we need to visit the container because we have already set up the route so it means that allow our kernel linux to access this ip address let's hit enter yeah no problem now we can open up our browser and uh, visit yeah as you can see uh, this is a sore uh, service and the next we need to check whether uh, this the service has a vulnerability and we can background existing session and we can search sore and we can use the first one remote command execution vulnerability and we can show options and we need to set the server host to our kernel linux and also we need to set a local host to our kernel linux local port is 888 and uh, And also we need to set the remote horse. This time is local host because we have already set up the port forwarding. And uh, what what we got left to configure? I think uh, we have already configured everything. Show options. Yeah, no problem. Let's run. But uh, no session created. I need to check. Localhost. I need to fix it. I need to fix this issue. Sorry, I think I found the problem. The now the remote port is not 8983 it should be the 81 because we have already uh, configured the port forwarding and uh, this should be the local port on our kernel linux and then now let's run yeah no problem it seems it's working okay we got the second metaprater and uh, now we can list the existing session and now we can go to the shell the id and we can the python yeah 
yeah, we can, of course, now we have already become the user sore and uh, we can check the sudo. Yeah, we can run any command like we can sudo in bash. But need, we need to put the password of this user. Maybe we can use the very weak password like uh, or default password, which is sore, S-O-L-R. Yeah, no problem. And we can go to the root directory. We got the root flag here. Okay, so we successfully completed this virtual machine. I hope I hope you can enjoy uh, my sharing uh, in this in this video, and also hope to see you in the next one. Bye.